Hey guys. Okay, so listen. That whole I'm going down, Mary J. Okay. I was like, <clears throat> I kept saying to myself, it's going down or I'm going down. I think I was saying it's going down. Okay, so something's gonna, something went down, something's going down, it's something like that. But I, I went back and I was like, oh, it's so old school. Like, so I was like, listening to the lyrics and it's like, I'm, you know, I'm going down since you're not around, yada, yada. Um, so what if like in the love story for the weekend, you know, it's, it's kind of like, it's just, it's your thoughts cause it's over and the person's not coming back around and you're sorry cause I saw apologies, you know? So it's like, what if it's that scenario and it, it's just, <clears throat> it's your thoughts you're creating. Okay. Because you know, yeah, it's your soulmate. So that deck, that card was there. So I feel like it's coming back around, but like, Say it doesn't come back around, you know, and it's legitimately just your thoughts. Because, I mean, that happens, guys. You know, it's, it's that delusion. So the tower's going to come in and, and smack your ass and, like, like smarten up type energy, you know. Take care of yourself. So it can, you know, you do have all those scenarios on the board. I don't want to discourage anybody, but I don't want anybody living in delusion every energy either, you know. So it's like... It's like, if somebody's singing that song, like, and you're falling apart and you're crashing and it, it's like your heart is aching and you just want this person back and you just want this person to come back home and, but like, it's that song, because it came to me in, in both, in both videos for the weekend, it's, that's kind of telling me too, like, three videos, three scenarios, you know, so it's like, for that person who is going through that, that crumble, that breakdown, um, it's like you feel like things are crashing because of the tower. And it's like I put myself in that situation with the weekend and having to move and put shit in effing storage because something's not ready. And it's like, oh, you know, the last thing from my freaking mind is love, okay? But because it's the love scenario and that song is based on love to me what that's saying is somebody is craving that situation too and if that's the case you need to snap out of that no matter how hard it is and take care of yourself I cannot stress that enough because that tower is a big wake-up call saying hey that shit is not coming back around I know you want that shit to come home and maybe one day it will but it is not this weekend focus on you. You know what I'm saying? So for those where it's not coming back around this weekend, I'm going to do a brief read for you because I do not want anyone in that energy. So I'm going to try my best to, to get you out of that energy and pump you up and let you know like, yeah, maybe it's just not your time, but eventually it is. But for now, take care of you because it's that unpredictable energy and you need to get yourself out of that. That's, no, no, I don't want nobody. And I know I can't stop that. It happens, okay? But, you know, maybe you had a codependency on this person. Maybe there was an addiction. Maybe you were just addicted to this person. Or maybe there was drugs. Or maybe this person paid your bills, you know? It's like they're what they're saying. Because this is your best advice for your scenario. So, you know, yeah, there's distance, okay? So some of you had that distance. It's... It's not, to me, it's never joy, bliss together. No, this is straight up distance, okay? But you need to stay optimistic. It's, it's those positive thoughts. You need to create something new. You got to let go of whatever's toxic. Because if you're holding on and you're breaking down and you're like, oh my God, my life is crumbling. I got nobody in my life. And and, and why me? And da 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 da. And that, they're going to wake you up real often quick. Detach. Detach from your situation. Stay optimistic. Distance yourself is what this is saying. Tell me about codependency. So it does look like this might be a person, but it's definitely not now, okay? Maybe it's saying it's not now because you want this person to come home so bad, but maybe they got an addiction. Maybe they got something toxic. Maybe they're detoxifying. Maybe they're going through rehab. Maybe they're doing something. And in the meantime... You know, maybe you got somebody who's addicted to drugs and in the meantime, you got to take care of yourself and be optimistic and you guys are not together because somebody's in rehab. See what I'm saying? So tell me about 
No, just tell me what's, what else. So please change your thoughts because I felt that too. All right, there is a little, there is a little separation, you know. Again, it's it's keeping that open mind. You had the this necessary, this FN tower moment was necessary for you to check yourself. Okay, there is distance, but eventually, there will be time for you to work on this. But to me, for those who are in that situation, it's time to work on yourself. And you might have somebody new stare those romantic feelings. Okay. Um, but I'm going to use the same deck too because it's all the same weekend energy. So that way you can figure out, decipher maybe who's is who. Tell me about codependency. Someone's back is turned to towards somebody. Whether it was toxic for you or toxic for somebody else, your back is turned. <clears throat> but I think this is what's necessary, okay? Because something was toxic. It could be the same story where in the end with the lovers, regardless, you know, maybe it talks about that toxicity being over. But to me, I don't want to look at it like that. I want to look at it like this is a group of people where it's like you feel like you're crashing and you're going down. And you just want somebody to come back around. And you're having a hard time taking care of yourself. So other aspects of your life are about to crumble. Tell me about staying optimistic. You know, again, you're getting there. You're trying. You're trying real hard. Tell me about honeymoon. too many five things like five there tell me about honeymoon so how about like yeah it's and the boat's going in the same direction how ironic is that so it's you haven't quite gotten there yet but you you just got yourself out of a situation okay this separation was necessary whether it's coming back this weekend or not whether it comes back next year or not it was a necessity is karma. But to me, I want to read this as this person is not coming back right this second. And you got to focus on you. Tell me about separation. Because this could just be your thought, like, I don't want to be separated. I want to give it a chance. But the universe is like, nah, there's a tower. Stay optimistic and focus on you. And, and you are. So I think a lot of you released. This is a big releasing. But at the same time, you're torn. You're torn because you, it's like you're addicted to this person, a situation. It is something like that. You know what I mean? That's too many again. But to me, it's take care of yourself. You know, separation. It's the three of cups. Yeah, go hang out with your friends. Go date. Just go have fun in your life right now. Don't don't worry about the dark side. Don't, don't worry about that. You're doing the right thing by turning your back by on this situation right now. It does not feel like that, but honest to God, you are. Okay? Tell me about keeping an open mind. And you could have separated because it could have been a third party. Okay? It could have been that too. I don't know everyone's scenario, so I'm not digging. I'm just saying that could have caused the separation. But you need to cope, keep an open mind. You, you're, you're trying to. All right? So it's the two of pence. So you're, you're, most, you're not dwelling. Okay? But yeah, yeah, you got to... It's another two of pence. So, I mean, it's the, it's the ace of pence. So, it's like, sorry. Because the other one, the other reader was the two of pence. So, it's it's kind of like, take that opportunity. Take it. It's like, you, before, it's like, it's there. You could have had a new star somewhere. You could have left sooner. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Regardless, it's, it's here. But it's saying, if you want it right in front of you, basically. I should have read it the other way first. Because that's what it's saying. If you want it. Right in front of you, you have to stay optimistic. You have to change your perspective. You know what I'm saying? I think it's the whole, I want, I want, I want the whole, you know, don't, you got to keep an open mind so that new opportunity comes to you, please. Tell me about, give your relationship a chance. Yeah, see, seven of swords. So it's like, you're still looking back. All right, you haven't quite got away from it. I feel like you're being sneaky about it too. Like you're trying to wiggle your way in somehow. You, it, it's like you're still not giving up, but you gotta. 
it, it's so comic. Okay, you got to take care of yourself right now to have that new start. Tell me about the Ace of Pence. So keep an open mind. Stay focused on you. <clears throat> you come first. It's the moon. All right. You. It, it's like... I think things are just about to come to the surface. You don't quite know. It, it's, there's still stuff unknown. But you have to go towards the unknown, too. And you got to stay optimistic, okay? Um, overall message for you guys. You, you have to... Don't sabotage yourself and stay stuck on something that's stuck. You got to turn your back right now. You have to. I, I think you had. You just, you're having a hard time because it's like you turned your back or they did regardless. You're not together. But you just want this person so badly. It's like that's what you're craving. That's what you want. Okay. It, it, it's, it's time to go. It's time to go. This is you staying optimistic, thinking things will get better. It, it's, it can go either way. But this is, you need to work on you right now. Most important message for this read, please. Most important message for this read, please. Two of them, three of you, okay? It's great sadness, but it's time to heal. You need to forgive yourself and others if necessary. Unity. This is becoming one with yourself with spirit. Okay. This is like-minded friends. Um, and the ten of fire. Okay. It's, it's, it's too much work. If you need help from others, make sure you ask. Your life is out of balance right now. It's, it's too stressful. Okay. It's, that tower is coming in for a reason. It's just it's not time right now. And I'm sorry. Do not sit in that energy. The best advice I can give you is accept what's happening because it's karma, okay? Let go of the... Let go of this. You're only sabotaging your future right now because it's just like you just... You don't want to give up. But right now, you have to turn your back on somebody. Especially if it's a drug addiction problem. It, it, sometimes you have to... It comes to that point where you have to turn your back because... It becomes delusionary. It's going to get better if this, this, that. No, maybe they had to go to rehab. And then maybe it can get better. But right now what it's saying is you, you had to turn your back on something. You have to. And it hurts. But you have to find you. You have to accept this change. It's just it's too much weight for you right now. You want that new start? You want that new opportunity? You got to move forward. You have to. It's just not your time. I, I think there's going to be a new love that eventually is going to come in. But it, it's when it's when you focus on you. And it could just be somebody for a little while. I, this could be a complete wrap up and you got to let it go. Okay. But to me, it's just kind of like, I feel like this will eventually come back around too because it's, it's karma but it's just it's just not this weekend or next weekend it's just it's gonna take a little time for you to realize some things so it's please just please 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 just stay positive and um please 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 take care of yourself uh, it's just it's such a hard scenario um that you're going through and maybe it's just temporary. Maybe someone is in rehab and it's temporary. And, you know, but don't don't fool yourself thinking when this person gets out, it can be all better. Because you never, you never know what happens. So stay optimistic, you know. But make sure your thoughts are not just on one thing in particular. Make sure you're incorporating your thoughts into your whole life. And trying to stay in the present moment. And trying to, to heal yourself is I keep going back to healing yourself. I'm going to pull you an oracle card. A mystical moment oracle card, okay, for this situation, for this weekend, for those who feel like they're going down. Your life will get better, okay? Promise. And it could be saying the other thing, too. It could be this other person, like, my life's going down without you anymore, you know? It, it just depends. But for those who know it's a wrap, 
you know, it's, it's time for you. And this is what that read is, you know, for those where right now it it is a wrap. Okay. New direction. And it was protective nest. But that's the one. But let me read protective nest real quick. It's the nurture, it's the mother, it's the protector in you. All right, believe in expressing, hatching new creative ideas. The symbol of motherhood protects children. So if you got children, protect them. All right, it's, it's certain things, certain words, certain actions can affect a, a, a fleeting, a fledgling soul. So it's, <clears throat> it's that new energy. Protect yourself, your kids, protect your emotions, ground yourself, okay? 45, new directions. All right, it's a dandelion. It's in that airship traveling through the sky with on top of the basket with men flying away from it. Flying in it. No, flying away in. One man jumps onto the basket and sails off to a flying dandelion seed. It takes him far away while the other men wave goodbye and wish him well. This story illustrates ending in the patches that are necessary to gain new perspectives on life. You have to take the courage and the change different directions. Even if you feel abandoned, you have to abandon the old habits. But if, you, but if you're bold enough, you can fly towards something new, a dream, a place, or even yourself or a new person in good time. And you did have new love at the bottom of the deck. It's just the way it had to go, okay? I love you guys. Um, it's taking care of yourself and letting departure, departures and final goodbyes being goodbyes. All right, it takes courage, so stand stand your ground, have that courage, new directions. You got to abandon those old habits, those old thoughts that we saw on the board, the, those codependencies, okay? It's, you're about to have, you're about to fly towards something new, a new dream, a new place, a new you too. This is even a new you, but that's if you let that go. Sometimes, you know, and a new person. So, it's tough. I think, ultimately, this is a wrap and you will have somebody brand new. So, if you're struggling, I mean really struggling, your heart is aching and you just want this person back and you stop at no, no means. I, I'm talking like you're being tortured. You can't move forward. You know, you might not be working. It, whatever your scenario is, I just I know it's not good. It's this going to be like your final tower to get you going. This other one, or vice versa, wants nothing to do with the situation right now. It looks like there could have been a third party. It doesn't matter. The point is, it is not okay for you to be in that relationship. It's not okay to have these these thoughts because it's, it's delusionary thoughts that this person might come back around or you know they cheated but you know we're gonna work it out it really just depends on your scenario if this other person is not talking to you and, and you're on your phone every day with your friends and you're crying and your heart aches and you can't function it, it's that type of it's that type of release and panic and, and craving but it's it's toxic it's no good it's it's time to take care of you. There's somebody brand new coming your way. I wish you the best. I remember what that pain is like. It's, it's been a long time, but no matter how long it's been, you remember that type of pain, especially with me seeing it on the board. All right, so it's why it was important for me to come on and, and kind of clarify some things for you guys because it's, I remember what that's like. It's hard, but... I also took those chances as life goes on, you know, to love again. So make sure you take care of yourself so those new opportunities come because it looks like there's somebody new coming soon. But take care of you. Put your focus where your focus needs to be. It's, it's no good energy. Everyone goes through it. So go through it, accept it, acknowledge it. Do not let the emotions control you feel the emotions but don't let the emotions control your new direction i love you guys bye think of like a positive song like something upbeat and like 
whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Don't be sitting there listening to all those love songs and, and the things that make you cry and bring back the memories with the Six of Cups for the other read for this group. You know, like, don't don't put yourself in that situation. Listen to songs that are uplifting, uplifting, motivational, inspiring, getting you to move forward. Listen to that type of music, okay? I love you. Bye.